Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, fly your airplane to the middle, and bring those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now stretch the circle up over your head and give a little stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. Nice stretching everyone. And one last stretch up at the top before we bring our arms back down. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. It goes like this. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. I hope that you all are having a wonderful morning so far. So let's quickly turn on our listening ears. Put on our thinking hats. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we can get started with circle time. The first thing that we're going to do is go over the date. And when we see the date, we start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? April, that's right. The month is April. And today is April 13th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 12th, and today is April 13th, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. We need to count all the days that we've had so far in the month of April. So can I see your counting fingers like this? And we'll warm them up to give them a little stretch. Let's start off at the number one. Will you count with me, friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have had thirteen days so far in the month of April. Friends, we need to sing the Days of the Week song. So can I see your seven fingers? Let's start with one hand, but one hand only has five fingers. We need to add two more fingers like this to make seven because we have seven days in the week. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel back down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, M. Monday. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is T. Tuesday. You're right. Today is Tuesday and tomorrow will be Here's your clue. Wha. Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. But let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Tuesday together. It goes like this. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. At the top of the chart, Right up here we have the season. Do you remember what the season is? Spring! It's springtime. Have you noticed any new signs of spring at your house? I noticed a new sign of spring at my house. On the trees there are little green buds and those little buds are starting to open up and soon they will be leaves. Have you noticed any leaf buds on the trees where you live? Let's go back down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together. 
What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, look at my picture right down here. It's a picture of a cloud and the rain falling. It's another rainy day at my house. Usually in the springtime, we get lots and lots of rain where I live, but so far in the month of April, we haven't gotten that much rain. Over the next few days, that's supposed to change though, and we're supposed to get a lot of rain. My temperature chart is still on orange. It's still a warm day, just a little bit rainy. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Have you gotten lots of rain or has it been sunny? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday we learned this new letter. This letter makes two sounds. Do you remember what the short sound sounds like? Eh, eh. Can you make that sound? That's right. And the long sound sounds like this. E. Can you make the long sound? That's right. And do you remember what letter this is? E. This is a lowercase e. And e says e eh or e. Are you ready to take a look at what I have inside of the letter box today? So, inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter E, but this makes a short sound, E. Eh. Here is your first clue. This is something that a mail carrier picks up. On the outside, you put a stamp on it, and on the inside, you put a letter or a card. Do you know what it could be? Let's take a look. I have an envelope. An envelope starts with the letter E, E. So when we did our unit on community helpers, one community helper was called a mail carrier. And the mail carrier picks up the envelopes and at the top right up here, this is where the stamp goes. And inside of the envelope is where the card or the letter would go. This is how you write a lowercase e. -e. One more time. Now let's move on to the number of the week. Yesterday, we learned this new double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 19. And when you write the number 19, first you write the number one, and then you write the number nine, 19. Will you count 19 tally marks with me? I'm going to draw them on the bottom of the chalkboard and we can count them together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and one more makes nineteen. 19 tally marks. Inside of the box, I have 19 pine cones to count. So I have way too many pine cones to line up across the top of the box. So instead, I'm just going to make a pile of pine cones on the top of the box. And hopefully they don't roll off. Will you count with me? One, two, three. Oh, there goes the fourth one. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and one more makes nineteen. Nineteen pine cones. Now when I look at this pile of pine cones, I'm looking for the largest pine cone. Let's see. Here it is. Here's the largest pine cone. And now I want to find its opposite. So the opposite of the largest pine cone would be the smallest pine cone. And here is the smallest pine cone. It's so tiny. The largest and the smallest. And all together, we counted 19 pine cones. Okay, friends, we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So that means that right now, we have to go over the sign of the week. Yesterday, I taught you how to say animal in sign language. Will you show me how to say animal in sign language? That's right. Let's do that together one more time. We're going to take our fingertips and bring them to our chest like this. And move your arms up and down. Animal. Today we're going to learn about baby chipmunks. A chipmunk is a small ground squirrel with stripes down its body. In the wintertime, the mother chipmunk will sleep or hibernate through the cold months and wake up in the springtime to have her babies. A baby chipmunk is called a kitten, and it's born with its eyes closed and no fur on its body, just like a rabbit. So chipmunks are both mammals and omnivores, and that means that the kittens will drink its mother's milk. And once they get a little bit older, they will eat vegetation, but also bugs or small animals. Chipmunks love to eat nuts and seeds and they'll use the pouches inside of their cheeks to transport their food. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you will need a variety of dried beans or nuts and seeds and a pair of tweezers. Today, we are going to do a sorting activity. So in the middle of my sorting tray, I have some almonds, I have some dried black beans and lentils, a few pinto beans and some sunflower seeds in there. And I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm going to squeeze them together with my fingers like this to open and close it. And I'm going to pick up the seeds and put them into different piles based on the type of seed that I grab. So right here I have a sunflower seed and I'm going to put the sunflower seeds right here. Here's another sunflower seed. Now I'm going to try to find a black bean. Squeeze my fingers together to close the tweezers. And here's a black bean. I'm going to start a pile of black beans right over here. So friends, if you don't have a sorting tray, you can just make different piles on your work tray based on the type of seeds that you collect. And if the seeds are too small, sometimes it's hard to squeeze them with the tweezer. So instead, you can just use your counting finger and your thumb and make a pincer grasp like this and pick them up with your fingers that way. So I grabbed some almonds over here. We have some black beans, the sunflower seeds. Now I'm going to grab the pinto beans, put them in a pile over here. And I think that the last dried bean that we have are lentils, which are very small and tiny. Little green circles. Squeeze my fingers together to pick up the lentil and I'll start the last pile over here. Let's count how many different piles we made. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, I have a poem to share with you, and it goes like this. Here is a chipmunk with eyes so bright. 
hunting for food with all its might. Here is a hole where day by day, nut after nut, it stores away. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.